Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saigon and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of Expert Iron Man difficulty. It is time to continue the Drombach County and there are definitely uh, further tasks to do. One of which would be uh, capturing curse riddance here in the village of Estral. So it's time for some zombie action and as per the usual we will need uh, some good fighting power here we're very noisy when we bring all of our uh, all of our uh, soldiers there but the question is should we uh, should we just do it with more actions might not be a bad idea you didn't see a wolf until you were inside of the building. Cornered and trapped, the animal becomes agitated. Uh, companions could calm it down. Um... Terrified by Namri's voice, the wolf decides to jump through the partition rather than stay with the group. Fantastic. We are already finding our very first encounter and we have chains with us plus a lot of zombies plague riddens 500 hit points more than enough to be a problem for us But thanks to our new strategy, we might be able to even kill them in one turn. Yep, there we go. That's a solid kill. We're blocking it and very good. Miss Grell would uh, take up uh, the other side. Moving in. Not sure if we're going to be as successful as our predecessor. Yeah, potentially not. She's dealing less damage, but she deals very reliable damage. So I'm actually okay with what I'm seeing. Plague Ridden is almost down. Using Ender Senders and our little trick uh, of curing plus applying damage. And let's try to find an exit here. Robbie moves in. So he follows him, heals the poison, which unfortunately is an ongoing problem for us. Should have used her to also search for a door. I forgot about that. Not the end of the world because finding a way out has diminishing returns. As you can see, in the beginning it's still okay. Later it becomes less and less powerful. Okay, moving up. Um, you know what, let's actually stay here so that way we can hit everybody with a nice orderly. Mm. 
more zombies are coming in. Not a surprise. For starters, all of you are now orderly. And yeah, we wanted to capture them. Oh, a second. Yeah, think about capturing them. Seriously. Okay, all right, so let's calm and steady. Now, nah, we're just leaving it as is for now. Uh, how about moving to here? Capture this guy. That's one out of three. Moves all the way up here. Hit, disengage, hit, disengage. Hit, disengage, and I think if we're just moving tiny, a tiny bit outside, he will come and we can capture him. Very solid damage from Roby. Takes a little bit of poison in return. Let's hope that this does not crit. Uh, of course it does. Healing. Um, charging here. It's not a kill. No, because his fists are not strong enough, which is exactly what I wanted. I should have still used find your way out beforehand. Charges over here, captures this guy, which is the second one now. Heals so that the poison doesn't start to tick up. Stuns this guy a bit more in the corner and then creates Valor. a bit closer search for an exit and we're engaging with them okay cool can still we can still uh, capture the third one Moves up, hit, hit, hit. Should be good enough for capture, right? There we go. Moves over here. A 
couple more hits. Yeah, we yeah, we can't really help him there. No, we're just moving out. And we're okay. Search for an exit. Heal your friend. And uh, stay close to everybody else. We have captured three. Now it's just a matter of uh, getting out of here. All right, move up. Oh yeah, the fury sticks are definitely stacking up. back in here blocks that entrance yeah, I should have uh, always brought the entire party with me yeah not even more spawns it's just you're fighting more often. But it was stupid just to try to sneak it with a few uh, characters instead of just bringing everyone. Good. Roby the bear puts fragility on. There we go. 210. That was a nice little hit. Just staying here, even if it means a bit more poison. Plague Ridden gets shot down. We're trying to find our way out. And we're just staying here. Done. More way out finding. Yeah, we potentially will need another turn. Damage is insane. I like what I'm seeing. Good. And as long as uh, the high hit point targets are not taking a lot of damage, we're actually f totally okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Bear is getting healed again. Moving out, done. First aid, best skill. Even more enemies are starting to move into the building, but that's okay. I have expected nothing uh, less. We're slowly but surely being overrun now. But this time we've brought an entire force uh, with us, so...
enough to withstand um, all of that. Um, I'll just focus on finding an exit. You know what? Let's kill this guy. We can still find an exit in a bit. We have already captured three, so there is no point in capturing more. Unless, of course, we can use the Plague Ridden for something, make them our slaves. We should have a repost. Not sure why he didn't uh, kill him. Anyways, um, Delhi. Nice crit. Start searching for an exit. Almost there. End of turn. Zoe. Kills this guy, starts searching for an exit, and I think we're done. Much, much safer and better and more controlled way of dealing with it compared to the last time. Troop has found a way out, and the village uh, slowly regains its peacefulness. Okay, every single lock pick that we're missing is 20. Oh boy. This is going to suck. It's always it's resetting with every single failure. It's not at the same position. It's very easy to break the lock pick. Well, fen effing tastic, hundred and thirty crowns. Okay, I can almost guarantee that we're going to run into more. I just wonder what uh, that village has to offer. Uh. Let's do the following. Let's first of all finish the quest. And we can come back at a later stage. I don't think that it's like ultra important. Knowledge points at this part in the game seem to not offer a lot. I mean, there's nothing that really that I can learn anymore, at least not with knowledge points. There may be a couple of recipes that I missed. I'm pretty sure we are almost complete so i wonder if you could trade in knowledge points that would be a cool mechanic knowledge points for experience for instance power leveling uh, one of your characters the ink that's preposterous i think she was looking did you find our test subject oh yeah here's one 
Funny, we got an angler, bard, and a scholar. Plague ridden. Every time engages in combat. They are surprisingly tough. But they don't have a specialization, right? This is... Oh, blessed be the eye! You can leave without fear. Uh... Good, I think we just got the recipe for the cure that we already knew. Well, at least it got the uh, storyline progress, so we're at uh, 35%. Now, question of the day, shall we go and go for the tome? I feel a bit adventurous. And going for the tome might not be a bad idea. The entire environment here, though, is quite hostile. You've received a message from uh, the professor. Aptitude point. Oh yeah, we're taking aptitude points. Yeah, she, I could go into critical hit, but I think she's better off with just solid damage. Um, because her crits are more or less guaranteed due to vulnerability that she applies, which means the um, crit chance doesn't matter as much as the base value and um, we can still become a bit harder hitting. I mean, she's already quite tough. 50 to 65 for a tank is a really respectable value. Now, the idea would, oh, wait. First, let's continue the storyline. It's a disaster. The plague-ridden subjects broke out. They attacked my students, my colleagues, the professors. The newly infected joined their ranks, and things got out of hand. I beg of you, you must help us until reinforcements arrive. Well, no shit, Professor. What do you think if you're putting zombies into a cage and you leave them unattended? Of course they're going to break out, and now your students are even zombies too. Good job. You gotta wonder what the recruiting criteria for that type of university are. Certainly not foresight. Moving here, and let's build up our front line. Oh yeah, she's dealing a lot of damage. I like it. Good, we could continue to move on. I think that's not a bad idea. Pushing a little bit into their ranks. All right, so S for our damage dealers. Uh, let's move up. 
Grab the horn by the bulls. Uh, the bull by the horns, of course. And that's a solid double kill. We're nicely engaging with them, filling our our result um, our valor bar. And then we're charging a bit closer. Are they getting reinforcements? What? Reinforcements remained three rounds? Oh my lord. That's going to suck. That means we're going to fight hordes of zombies. And I was already wondering how many we would uh, fight. The answer is a lot. All right, move to here. Let's continue peppering the zombie. Almost down. That's a kill. Getting rid of poison. And unfortunately we can't stand next to someone. Too bad. This would be wonderful to get in there. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out. So instead, let's move to here. And we're just waiting for the zombies to arrive. There will be hordes anyways. Sweet, sweet kill. Peppering our front line back up and moving back out. Good, a few of them came from the south, which means all we need to do is Get there as soon as possible. And close the flank. Yeah, at this point our tanks are actually dealing quite a bit of damage. Really appreciate that. Um, let's move up. Play Britain gets hit. 
and gets moved all the way back. Okay, cool. Yeah, Polly can't really go anywhere meaningful. Might as well heal the poison off and then let it be. In the meantime, Roby hits and hits. And now the rage has built up. He's at 12. Which means he's very close to brutality. And once brutality hits, he will be incredibly strong. That's a two for one. And a nice little kill. And we're done. Can we charge in there? No, I think we cannot. Ah, that's really annoying. Wanted to charge in here and triplet hit them, but just didn't work out. Instead, we're moving over here. And start getting Valor for the team again. Good. Zombie almost down. Frontline is being healed. The polar bears are actually quite quite overpowered. Good, one and a half of them down, and there are still reinforcements coming, holy. This time, apparently reinforcements for us and not against us. Okay, we are at 14 stacks of rage, enough to start mopping the floor with him. There we go, 600 points. He's, we're now officially Berserk. Since we're also taking a lot more damage, eh, might be careful. Good, let's continue killing their backline. It's not the single hit that is OP, 
it's more the fact that you do have dozens and dozens and dozens of hits that makes the build quite OP. Nice hit. And almost dead. I wonder if the other reinforcements are also going to be worshippers or if we're going to see others. Plague-ridden zombies aren't bad if you manage to stay in poison the entire time. I wouldn't run a party with them, but I think they, uh, they are serviceable if you have enough of them. Good, that ends the encounter. Apparently the reinforcements were not all zombies. Four ones, reinforcements for our side. By Saint Giroux, that was a hard won fight. Take a moment to catch your breath. You fought well. We'll search the laboratory to make sure there are no plague ridden left. Join us as soon as you can. I want you to tell me what happened. Well I can tell you what happened. Please. Tell the Inquisitors that the plague-ridden came from outside. They must not know that we're studying life. I can tell you what's up. I trust you know that it is considered... I do not like what you're implying, Inquisitor. This laboratory is as conscientious as can be. Our experiments dutifully follow the precepts of the light. Mm -hmm. Am I supposed to believe that plague-ridden spawned out of thin air inside your library? They attacked from the outside. They probably fled the cursed village because of the eye's reckoning. Sure they did. Mercenaries, I want the truth. What did you see? Could we either get Knights of the Eye Sword or we get Ingstead? I want the sword. Why am I not surprised? You and your subordinates are under arrest, Professor. Your profane experiments will be destroyed or seized by the Edoranian Church. As for you, mercenaries, it is my pleasure to give you this reward. We've been wanting to inspect this place for years. Not only to appease the God of Light, but also to find out how far along the plague cure is. Well, it's a fine sword, but... I would have actually wanted a bit of a finer sword. We already have uh, the better version. I was hoping for a two-star version. I had the professor and his. It was a massacre. Now, I sort of feel stupid for picking the sword. Maybe the trinket would have been better. But who knows? Who's to tell? That's the problem of playing Iron Man. You can't really save. Okay, wow. Let's explore a bit further and then we're ending today's episode. It's almost 45 minutes in. But funnily enough, we're already at halfway through the main uh, storyline here careful with the polar bears don't want to run into them if we can manage to just avoid them that'll be much much better ok 
Okay, are you telling me this is the edge of the world? Hmm. Bit dissatisfactory, but you can't travel any further than that. being attacked yeah I don't I'm not going giving away a thousand gold pieces so I'll do that off camera and we'll move uh, slowly but surely to the uh, ruins because I want to explore them next all right thanks for watching if uh, you are about to ambush uh, this channel then try um, to do that with a like button I am. Uh, I was informed uh, that he's a lone standing guardsman. So click it and see if you can successfully ambush it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.